Hey folks, Larry, Dan, yourselves by the pond. We're picking a few things yeah. uh, going out. We've already picked a couple of these things out. This is a, uh, <clears throat> a replacement ring for a... Um, uh, Pampered Chef Easy Accent Decorator, number 1778. That is going out for $8.99 plus shipping. That's too bad. Yeah. Uh, this uh, old copy of Scanners... Uh, VHS cut box. This was one. I think this was uh, this was originally in a, a video rental, rental place. Yeah. So it was pretty Going cool. Going out for fifteen dollars. We did take an offer on that because we have had it up for quite some time. Pretty cool. Yeah. Plus shipping. Uh, this guy here on the car. WWF grudge match. You got uh, Gold Dust and Savio Vega there. Yep. That is going out for fifteen dollars. That is because, as you can see at the end here, there is some damage to the package and the uh, post at the end of the ring is a little bit. Uh, next thing going out is over here, this <coughs> plastic measuring spoon set. This is going out for $9.99. It is unbranded. All it says is made in Hong Kong. We did pick this up in a bag lot, I believe at the Goodwill. Uh, it also came with a timer, which is actually the reason I bought the bag. That's the timer there, as a matter of fact. Uh, and a few other things. And I think I paid two or three dollars for the whole bag. As I said, those are going out for $9.99 plus shipping. Uh, this is also going out this Knott's Berry Farm. Uh, Knott's Berry Farm. It's one of those little jam holders that you get at like the diners back in the diner. Yeah, I think they. I think they're for the the little, yeah, the little individually packaged. And it yeah. holds like a menu here. Yep, that is going out for seven ninety nine plus shipping. Uh, yep. Pick that up at a at an estate sale. It was hiding in some back back corner. And I saw it and I was like, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think we paid maybe a dollar yeah, less maybe. than that even because <coughs> uh, it was part of a large lot uh next thing going out is this nice teacup and saucer set Put that on there for you guys so you can see that that is that there that is going out for 19.99 made in japan uh marked kpm porcelain that was actually gifted to me by a family friend who was cleaning out her mother's house and just didn't know what to do with all of the stuff in the china cabinet. She was going to throw it in a dumpster and decided to call me instead. So saved from a dumpster and going out for $20 plus shipping. Pretty cool. Next thing going out is a wrench. It's a main USA Craftsman half inch. Going out for $5.99 plus shipping. It was made in the USA tools, do all right. Yeah. Uh, next is this unibrow glass. Happy to have a beer glass going out. We're accumulating them and they haven't been selling as quick as they had been for a while. Uh, that nice is, glass. yeah, going out for $8 plus shipping. Hitch Canadian yeah. Unibrew. I believe we're in that for about part of a larger beer glass lot that I purchased. Uh, next we have going out for the second time, supposedly, this Owen Hart DVD. Uh, this had been purchased once before and the purchaser just never paid. Um, so it sat for several days until we eventually did just cancel the order because the purchaser wasn't getting back to us. That is going out for $16.50 plus shipping. I did pay $1 for that at a yard sale. Uh, next thing going on is this nice Noritake set. So that is the master celery dish and then a set of six matching salts that go with it. That's what's wrapped in the newspaper there. Uh, it is unusual I, in my looking on eBay to find the master with all six of the original salts. 
Um, sometimes you see they have four or five, uh, but having all six was nice. So that did increase the value a little bit. That is going out for $24.99 plus shipping. I believe I paid two to three dollars at a yard sale earlier in the summer for that. I think that that was everything going out today. So those, it was 10 orders. Uh, and that is our first time shipping after being on vacation mode for a week and a half. Um, so we didn't make a lot of sales while we were on vacation. We also did not list at all, um, just because we were enjoying ourselves. <laughs> Uh, we did do a little bit in terms of like while we were driving home in the car I would check prices see if I could add item specifics those sorts of things just to update listings a little bit um, and we did just start another sale now that we're back to sort of get some orders moving again so you always got to be listing I yeah this is the yeah. key to it not listing really hurt sales over vacation but all in all, I think it was worth it because we had a great time. Mm -hmm. We are going to get a video for you guys of all the stuff we found while we were traveling home. It was a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not caught up. Our living room looks like a warehouse because we had to quickly unload the rental car into the living room to return the rental car. Um, so that video is coming. So stay tuned for that, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey folks, Larry Dan, resellers by the pond. Uh, we're packing up a few things today. Uh, let's see. We got right on the top there. Uh, that's a first edition uh, Game of Thrones paperback. Paperback. It's a little chewed up there, <laughs> but. Uh, going out for 29.99 yeah usually like I, I didn't think like you know you can find much in the way of paperbacks worth money but i took a gamble on a first edition uh, game of thrones and there that it is was a goodwill pickup first think, printing i think we paid 99 cents maybe a dollar 99 at most yeah, yeah. <clears throat> uh, let's see we got a couple of lego figures that went out uh wampa Going out for sixteen dollars plus shipping. He's missing his horns here, but uh, still sixteen dollars. Sixteen left. bucks. And then this winter Chewbacca. He was Christmas. from an advent calendar. Christmas Chewbacca. Going out for eleven dollars <clears> plus <throat> shipping. Uh, those were picked up in a large bag of Star Wars figs. Uh, what's there isn't even half of what I actually uh, purchased in the bag. The bag was $5, so I'm in them for less than 50 cents a piece. Uh, so good flips there. Quick, easy ship. Uh, these guys, which we picked up in, I think, West Virginia? Or Tennessee? Or is Tennessee? On the way back from New Orleans. On the way back from New Orleans. Those are bookends made by Blanco. Um, you can't Half see. moon bookends. You can see the sunlight. They're like an amber red. Um, see that? Very cool. Those are going out for one hundred and fourteen dollars plus shipping. Uh, we did pick those up for eight dollars, and they sold in two days. Yeah. So pretty quick flip there. Good flip, and we're gonna. They're so heavy that we're gonna pack them in one of these. Uh, uh, we don't normally use the flat rate boxes, but because those are so heavy, I think they'll they'll work well in this guy here. Um, that would be best best price anyway, apart from trying to deal with U UPS, which we're not going to do. Um, uh, next, we had an antique piece of haul china. <clears throat> That is that there. It is a casserole dish. So I was unable to find anything like it. There were some very similar ones that had a cover, 
Uh, however, they did not have this blue around the rim uh, and they, they were a little different. So this one was definitely meant to not have a lid. <clears throat> or has, at least we think it wasn't. And it has like these ridges on the bottom, which made me think it was a pet dish, which it could be. So <laughs> We think it's casserole. I uh, think it's a pet dish. <laughs> Let's see, when you sit it down, there's no... If any water gets under there, it won't stick down. Anyway, going out for $26 plus shipping. Uh, next is a TI-83 plus wrapping calculator. Bolo, folks. Yeah. Going These out things. for $30. I think I pay, I'm trying to remember what sale I got that from. I think I paid no more than a dollar or two for that. Yeah. And pay up to, uh, I would say pay up to five dollars for those. Yeah. Because they sell pretty regularly, pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, there seems to be some refurbishing company out there that buys them up and then refurbishes them or something and sells them in bulk to, to schools or something. That's what we think is happening. The, the yeah. name of the buyer is something like ebay buyback or something like that and so, they they buy like all of them so i don't know that's the second or third one we've sold to that same buyer uh so that is going out as well that's it so yeah not a ton going out today but mostly higher dollar flips uh or really high percentage flips uh like i said the lego figures they aren't huge money but they're huge profit and they're so easy to ship uh, so be on the lookout for those little bags of mystery figs, or yeah. in this case, not so mystery because they were clear bags. And Blanco glass, <laughs> apparently. Yeah. It's, it, it doesn't look, I mean, to me, it doesn't look like it's like the nicest glass on earth, but it's heavy. And uh, I saw it particular. and immediately fell in love. And I was like, I think this is something special. There was also a documentary. I had to talk him into it. <laughs> there was a documentary about them a few years ago that... Uh, that helps so mm -hmm. yeah all right see ya mm -hmm.